Hey, what's up guys? It's Online Money 24-7 and today we're going to be talking about how to make a Facebook ad for Shopify. Today we're going to be going through a couple of live examples and this is for dropshipping. So we're going to be going through what a Facebook ad should look like, the type of copy that you're going to want to use, and just some general best practices when you are creating a Facebook ad or promotion for your Shopify dropshipping store. So let's go ahead and get into the first example. So this first example here is from one of my old stores. I don't actually run it anymore. I sold it back in like July or something like that. So it's no longer in service, but this is an example of a video promotion that I had ran predominantly just for SEO purposes because like I said in other videos before, I used predominantly Instagram to really promote this product when it was trending to get a lot of sales. And so the Facebook stuff, I made like a couple hundred bucks from, but not a ton. But this is still the same exact ad copy for Facebook ads that you're going to want to use across the board. And I have a second example as well that will show you uh, a product that actually did get a lot of sales through specifically just Facebook. But this is how you would do a video ad is, you know, you put the video there and then you use, you know, at the top it says blackhead removal mask, want to get rid of your acne, question mark. You know, you want to ask a question in that first line. And now the reason why there's only three lines here is because that is above the fold. So what I mean above the fold is because on Facebook in the news feed, when you're scrolling through it, there's only so much that will pop up. And so... Otherwise, you'd have to click see more and you don't want people to have to click see more to be able to actually click your link to your website. You want to make sure it's very easy for them to actually identify the link to click and to view your product. So as you can see on the second line, I have get yours on sale with free shipping and then I have an arrow pointing to the URL and then below that I have tag a fellow pal that would love to have this. So there are three things I'm doing here. First, I'm saying the name of the product. Then I ask a question. Um, usually relating directly to the product. So want to get rid of your acne? Of course, you know, that's what they're trying to do. And then get yours on sale for free with free shipping. So that's like an offer. And then below that is then tag someone to try and get some social, some social uh, shareability. Because if you have shareability, it helps promote your product uh, organically and for free. So when people share your product, you're not paying for that. It's just naturally happening from your advertising efforts, which is really, really nice and something that you definitely want to try and take advantage of when you can. So moving into the second example here, this is actually one of my friend's stores. Now I'm not sharing the name of the product or what the product actually looks like just because you know he doesn't want any of that information out there. But this is just the ad copy I could use for the example here in today's video. But this product actually sold thousands of dollars just off of these simple ad campaigns. And so this is directly through Facebook marketing efforts. So as you can see at the top, he put these uh, blank necklaces are one of a kind and stunning. So as you can see here, the trend is using lots of emojis. Now you want to use emojis, not overkill, but you want to have one and then some text because visually appealing things with little bits of emojis help people engage with the ad. You know, they see that and they're like, Ooh, this is exciting. And so for the first line, you have premium modern plated 925 silver chain. So you're describing the product there. Underneath that, you have the 50% off. So the flash sale, that's kind of like the offer. Like what's the sale? If it's free shipping, if it's 50% off, what type of you know, offer are you providing them? And then grab yours, which is a call to action, and the URL there as well. And here you can see the URL is the actual domain. Uh, on the previous example, I was just using a Google link shortener, which we'll get into in the next slide. But as you can see here, on this ad, there was actually quite a bit of shares, over 400 shares and lots of reactions. So as well as not just shares, but also tags, people would comment, I think 40 different comments with tags of people's names. As you can see at the bottom there, there's an example of one person tagging someone else. So that is how you can get some extra free organic traffic also on your ad is by, you know, telling people like, oh, this is the product. And then, you know, a lot of times people will comment and tag people if they're like, oh, this is cool you know, maybe someone else should get this as well. So they tag their friends or they share it. And that's, that's going to help with your Facebook ads. So if you have something that's visually appealing and is an offer that people in that niche are wanting, they're going to, they're going to share it up. They're going to talk about it with their friends because they think it's super cool and they're into that niche a lot. 
Uh, so that's an example here with how you want to lay out your ads with the ad copy as well as you know the ty different types that you could have. Now, the reason why there's no hashtags in the second one is because this one was an actual paid ad, uh, whereas the first one was not. It was just a post that was made and then the the hashtags are there just for SEO. So when people go to search like black head mask or whatever, that would then come up in the search results on Facebook. But that's not really necessary at all when you're just trying to create an ad that you're paying uh, for promotions with uh, Facebook or business.facebook.com. You know, you're paying Facebook to run to run these ads. You don't you don't want hashtags in there clogging it up. So that's why you have it very simple and straightforward with those three things that are above the fold. So now moving into how you actually link your products. Now, for example, here, as you could see for the shopping seduction one, I have, you know, the three key bullets there with emojis included, and then I have an arrow pointing with the URL. Now with the URL, when linking your products, you want to use Google link shortener or your actual domain. And I'll get into why this is important. But for example, you know, you could have G O O dot G L. So that's how you could see the Google link shortener, or you could have, you know, your website.com, whatever your website is, maybe it's bassfishing.com, whatever your niche is, just ultimately don't use bit.ly because when it, it comes down to trust what people are going to click. And if they see bit.ly, you know, bit.ly doesn't exactly have the biggest brand recognition across a lot of people on the internet. And they might not, they may think it's a scam or something when they see that when they see a bit.ly link on Facebook, so they might not be inclined to click it. So I would not use bit.ly at all. And I think even Instagram is cracking down on not having people link with bit.ly in the bios because it may be confusing to people what they're actually linking them to. And, you know, they just want to avoid mistrust with URL. So I would either use the Google one because people trust Google or use your actual domain because when people see the name in your domain and it's the same as the Facebook page that's promoting this ad, they're going to trust it as well. So one of those two is what you're going to want to use when you're actually linking your products on your Facebook ads. But that is pretty much the gist of this for today's video. Guys, if you have not actually started your Shopify stores yet, I do have a 14-day free trial link down in the description box below if you want to go ahead and support the channel. You can click that link. But if you have not subscribed yet, what the heck are you doing? Hit that subscribe button so you get notified for future videos, uploads, and all that good stuff when you hit the bell. Anyway, guys, leave a like. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions, comments, concerns. And that is all for today's video. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.